Hi, I'm John Yi, and I'll be presenting our work on PT4AO using self-supervised pretext tasks for active learning. Labeling large datasets is very time-consuming and expensive. Such costs are especially pronounced with complex tasks such as semantic segmentation or any task that requires expertise. Active learning is a technique aimed to reduce labeling effort by selecting informative subsets that can achieve high performance within a fixed labeling budget. In each active learning iteration, a set of data are queried to be labeled by the human annotator or oracle. The model is trained with the collected label data to assess its downstream task performance. Existing active learning methods are largely divided into distribution-based or uncertainty-based methods. Distribution-based methods have difficulty querying samples in the decision boundary, whereas uncertainty-based methods struggle to sample data that represent the entire data distribution. Also, existing AL methods randomly sample data in the first iteration. This leads to a cold start problem where poorly selected initial samples can result in low or inconsistent performance. To resolve these problems, we start with a hypothesis that the losses of self-supervised pretext tasks will be correlated with the main task or downstream task loss. We already know from methods such as transfer learning that self-supervised pretext tasks such as rotation prediction and colorization provide good initializations for downstream tasks. We therefore deduce that images that are hard for the pretext task will also be hard for the main task. We discover that the loss rankings of the pretext task and main task have a strong positive correlation, which validates our hypothesis. This correlation is the same across different datasets and pretext tasks. Based on this discovery, we propose PT4AL, which is a novel active learning method that utilizes self-supervised pretext tasks and a unique data sampler to sample difficult and representative data. There are two main components, the pretext task learner for batch split and the in-batch sampling module. First, the pretext task learner is trained on the unlabeled data. Then, the unlabeled data is sorted in descending order by the pretext task loss. The sorted data is divided into n batches, where n is the number of active learning iterations. The first batch contains data with the highest pretext task loss, while the nth batch contains data with the lowest losses. Next, the sampling module is used to select k samples from a batch in each active learning iteration, starting from the highest loss batch and moving on to lower loss batches. In the first iteration, data are uniformly sampled from the first batch. From the second iteration onwards, data with the k lowest confidence scores are selected. Here, the confidence score is the top one posterior probability of the main task learner from the previous iteration. The sample data are then labeled by the oracle and added to the labeled pool. The main task learner is then trained with the labeled data. PT4AL combines the best of two worlds of existing AL methods. The batch split with pretext task loss allows sampling from every spectrum of the feature space, while the uncertainty-based sampling method samples data in the decision boundary. We present results on various datasets for image classification and segmentation. Additionally, we experiment on classification for an imbalanced CIFAR-10 dataset to demonstrate our method's robustness against class distribution. On the three classification tasks, our method demonstrates compelling performance across the active learning iterations against other benchmarks. Also notice that on all three datasets, PT4AL starts with a noticeable performance advantage. Such traits are the same for segmentation on the Cityscapes dataset and also on imbalanced CIFAR-10. PT4AL achieves state-of-the-art performance across different tasks, datasets, and class distribution. Shown are the TSNI embeddings of CIFAR-10 data points. The bold points denote the queried data. Random sampling queries data uniformly across the feature space, whereas learning loss, a uncertainty-based method, queries on the decision boundaries. PT4AL initially samples from batches with high pretext task loss, where the features are concentrated in the boundary regions. As the sampler progresses to batches with lower loss values, the queried points propagate to the remaining regions of the class clusters. Such behavior is a mix of uncertainty-based and distribution-based methods, mitigating their flaws while sampling both representative and difficult data points. Since PT4AL uses the pretext task loss to sample from the first iteration, it queries informative samples from the start and thus resolves the cold start problem. PT4AL provides an effective initialization with higher performance and low variance compared to random sampling. Thank you for listening. For more details, please visit our project page.